And now, welcome, please, to the State Union Pacific Railroad President and Chief Operating Officer, Lance Fritz. What a pleasure and an honor it is to be here with you today to celebrate the creation of the Transcontinental Railroad. Our celebration at Union Pacific started yesterday with the nose-to-nose -nose meet of our two massive iron horses of today, the number 844 and the number 4014. I think maybe some of you were there yesterday. <laughs> it took teams of amazing craftsmen to build this transcontinental railroad like it took teams of amazing craftsmen to build those iron horses and refurbish them. We celebrate that ingenuity, that hard work, that sacrifice. And it's the same kind of sacrifice that defined this great race to where we are today that connected our nation. That was a story of not just the laborers, but certainly them. It also included the visionaries, President Abraham Lincoln, when he signed us into existence in July of 1862. It included the stories of the First Nations of, our, of, of, of America and how the Transcontinental Railroad fundamentally changed their culture, their lives, had significant impact. It's about the communities that were formed along our great railroad, first starting as steam stops, as water stops, and then growing into economic engines in their own right, and uh, now sitting at the heart of our great nation. That endeavor, as you've heard over and over today, identified exactly what's achievable when a, when a group of motivated and dedicated, diverse individuals put their mind to it and become one, in the, in the words of President Nelson. And while that connection was finally complete here at Promontory Summit, that was not the end. That was the beginning. The creator of the famous Golden Spike had the wisdom to inscribe on that spike a prayer that was as appropriate on that day as it is today. May God continue to knight this country as this railroad unites the two great oceans of the world. May God continue to knight this country as this railroad unites the two great oceans of the world. That hope stands the test of time, and it's a prayer we would all be wise to reiterate today. Our company takes great pride in our history. It defines us, we think it makes us different, we think it makes us special. But most importantly, that history is a reminder of our awesome responsibility as stewards to continue to build this great nation and this great state. Thank you.